Mm-hmm. I'm guessing you're gonna raise your baby vegan. Yeah. How are you definitely. feeling about that? Are you feeling confident? Are you a little bit nervous? Hopefully I can breastfeed. That would be the dream. I think a lot of people do have worries around that. I don't see why I can't, but I just, I think I need to be prepared to do formula, which mm. is nothing wrong with that at all. But I think when you're vegan, it's so much easier just to breastfeed. Um, have you found any vegan formulas or? Yes. Okay. So it's getting a lot better now. So the world of vegan formula yeah. is a little tricky because there's two I believe in Europe which are completely vegan mm. and they're really expensive and you have to have them shipped in from Europe oh my gosh okay but there's loads of dairy free like, vegetarian ones really easy to get in the UK and the reason it's vegetarian not vegan is because of the lanolin oh. you get D3 from uh, the lanolin oh similar to Kellogg's cereals they're not yeah, vegan they? because they have vitamin D in it that's added really? yeah isn't that so funny to think yeah. lanolin in cereals <laughs> I didn't know if it was not lanolin but I knew it was a vitamin D thing and this is probably yeah. what it is. The vegan ones, I think they've got D3 in. I don't think they could sell it mm. without. I think it might be called lechin, which is a plant-based okay. D3, but it's a lot more expensive. Mm. They're like the main options, really. I'll be honest, um, if I were in that situation where it's like, I can't breastfeed, I've had a baby, I yeah. probably can't afford necessarily the more expensive ones. I feel like... I'd be content with buying something dairy-free, but with the vitamin D yeah. that is non-vegan. I think you've got enough problems on your hands. I like I don't. I mean, it's great if you can go the extra mile, and maybe I don't know. I'm not in the position, but I think that is something that a lot of vegans would probably be like, oh, "That's good enough." It's one thing. Yeah. yeah. I'm still trying to work it out, but I think I agree. But also, I mean, breastfeeding is so much cheaper. Yeah. And if you can imagine, like, buying, like, all these tubs of formula, like, it will build up, it'll be really expensive. Mm. So, yeah, you've got to work out what's right for you, I think. Yeah. No and judgment. are you prepared and comfortable just, like, whipping your boob out, like, all the time? Because that's what <laughs> my sister go like. now? <laughs> No, I'll get banned off of YouTube. But um, yeah, it's, it's so funny how like my sister just does it all the time right, now. And I'm just like, oh, yeah, I'm so used to it now. Really? Yeah. I, do, I really just don't care. I actually find Good. it quite, is it f- the word funny or is that, not, I don't know. Um, like, it's obviously other people's problem. Yeah. So I just don't care. I think the more we do it, it make, it normalises. This is how I feel about topless sunbathing. Yeah, in the UK, same. Because I do that all the time. Do you? Yeah, yeah. In just the UK? To, yeah, like Victoria Park or London <clears throat> Fields, if it's like a really hot day. Is it legal? It is legal, but you're allowed to do it as long as it doesn't cause offence. So if someone decides they're offended oh. by it, you kind of do need to cover up. But I've never had anyone offended. <laughs> That is so interesting. And yeah. they come over to say, I'm breastfeeding, my baby's just uh, yeah. <laughs> moved off. Yeah. That's so, I didn't know, I thought it was illegal. I, no, I'll I Googled doing it. doing it next summer with you. Yay! <laughs> Yeah, I think it's just normalising things like mm. that, isn't it? And it's the other people's problem. And especially with breastfeeding, you're literally feeding your yeah, child. It's like, the most natural thing. Yeah. Exactly. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm well up for that. <laughs> yeah. Well, I know that <laughs> for some women, it just must, because we're quite prudish typically in the UK, so yeah. it actually must be a bit overwhelming suddenly being like, Oh, yeah. it must just be a lot, especially if you get quite self-conscious. I guess as influencers, we're we're always like, look at me, look at me. So we're not yeah. really, we're not really the people yeah. that are like, oh my god, everyone's gonna stare at us. I'll be on the tube, <laughs> just so everyone knows, <laughs> I'm about to get my boob out. <laughs> I love that.